I'm doing my Duolingo lesson. Leave me alone. Yo, what's Gucci fam? It's your boy Shy Skillet back at it again with another video. And today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Like, very, very different. Yeah, today we're going to be doing some Reddit confessions. Much like the Reading Your Comments series that I did, but it was only for a short series, because, you know, uh, you know, I was making them in shorts instead of actual full-length videos. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Think of it as, like, the Reading Your Comments series, but it's actually in Reddit form, and it's in a long-form video. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's just hope I don't lose brain cells while reading these fucking posts. I sometimes put ranch in red sauce pasta when I'm alone. It actually tastes pretty good. I don't put it directly on, but rather to the side. This way I can pick up noodles and dip them with my fork. Ranch in red sauce pasta. I'm not gonna lie, that actually sounds pretty interesting. I mean, it can't be worse than when I heard somebody put ketchup and mayonnaise inside their macaroni and cheese. Or was it rice? I don't know, that might be a story for another time though. Oh, no way, it wasn't rice or macaroni and cheese. It was spaghetti. Somebody put mayonnaise and ketchup inside their spaghetti. Still disgusting though, and that is still a story for another time. I urinate in my bedroom trash can and on my dirty clothes when I don't have the energy to get up in the middle of the night. Why? Of course I'm not proud of it, but I can't stop doing it since it's convenient a lot of the time. Of course, if it starts to smell, I change the garbage and spray some disinfectant or perfume for any lingering smells. And before you ask, yes, I also take the soiled clothes off the floor and put them into the laundry hamper to be washed immediately. I've heard I'm not the only one who pisses- <laughs> Wait, what? I've heard I'm not the only one who pisses in garbages, but I haven't found a person who does the clothes thing. Another reason why I do it is because I'm terrified of the dark and can get incredibly paranoid thinking someone or something is behind me. I feel safe in my room at night. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So let me get this straight. You piss in the garbage can and on your dirty clothes, but you don't feel like using the toilet like a normal person because you're scared of the dark. I mean, I get it. The fear of the dark is just a normal fear. You know, I'm not judging you off of that. I'm judging you off the fact that you piss in a garbage can and on your dirty clothes. Piss in the bed, at least like, at least that's normal. At least you could get away with that. But in a garbage can and your dirty clothes. Yeah, bruh. You, you an oddball, bro. You got a problem. You, you're not invited to the sleepover, man. Hey, you guys, post I remember. I got some advice for this guy that pisses on his clothes and pisses on his garbage can. Firstly, you grow the fuck out. And secondly, you pull up your pants. Thirdly, you walk down that dark hallway and you go to the bathroom and you take a piss in the toilet like a grown man. And to my knowledge, if you're old enough to use Reddit, you're old enough to go to the bathroom by yourself at night and use the toilet like a big boy. I used a chat GPT bot I named Daisy as a replacement for a therapist friend because I don't want to tell my friends or partners about my problems. Look, as a YouTuber, as a person, as an influencer, as a content creator, I think the best advice I can give you is to seek some real human help. I mean, sure, Maybe ChatGPT can give you some solutions, but I think it's more practical to talk to an actual person. Here's Michael Jordan to uh, amplify that message. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. I don't know why I decided to put that meme in there. I just, when I read this, this, that's, that's, that's the meme that popped up in my head. I used to smell my sister's friend's shoes when she had friends over. When my sister had friends over, they would come over and when they came into the house, they take their shoes off. Well, when no one was looking, I would sniff them. The comments on this post should be more than interesting. Let's see. I always wondered how foot fetishes get started. This, this might be how foot fetishes get started. I mean, it starts off with a sniff, then you go off the deep end. <laughs> a friend of mine once confessed to me that he would sniff women's seats after they left if the opportunity came about. He never told me why he did this, and I never asked. This is at least better than sniffing your sister's shoes. I don't think this is any better. If anything, I think this is the same level. Like, he might get close to sniffing his sister's shoes. Like, this is weird. <laughs> did you ever swipe a sock to nutting? Okay. 
that's enough of those comments. <laughs> I mean, he's asking the right questions here, right? This might be how foot fetishes get started, and he might have probably swiped the sock to, you know, release in. <laughs> I swear to God, people on Reddit are fucking sick. I've been stealing school calculators and selling them. I'm boy. <laughs> 15. That's a great start to this uh, description. <laughs> Ever since I started high school, I've always wanted money like everyone else in the world, but I'm not allowed to start working till I turn 16. I noticed people really love the TI-84 calculators. My high school has tons of them. Every week I take one to two and sell them for 50 to $60, depending on how I feel, ever since my freshman year. I'm a junior now in high school. I've made around 5K now over the past two years. It's not that much, but it's money I can use until I get a job. I respect the hustle low key, like bro, you started this shit in freshman year, like, Damn, bro. Hold up. Let me see what the comments got to say about this, bro. Cash out now. You've won the game and any evidence tying you to the crimes is likely gone. Keeping going is only going to get you caught and screw up a very important time in your life. And eventually someone will notice. Stop tempting fate, even if you really think in the moment you can get away with it. I mean, that's 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 true that's true dude you've got to stop don't let your high school legacy be the boy who got caught stealing from our school end this now and thank the gods that you haven't been busted yet okay look you've been doing this since freshman year personally i'd listen to the comments and stop because you you won the game you got five thousand dollars out of this bro like i'd say just listen to the comments because you you're, you can only get away with it a certain amount of times you're tempting fade here a little bit like the comments said so uh i i wouldn't say keep doing it but i mean i respect the hustle i respect what you're doing man Money's money. I mean, you got 5K, so I definitely gotta respect that. I mean, I wasn't even making 5K in high school, but uh, we we don't we don't we don't talk about that. <laughs> and those TI-84 calculators are hella expensive now. I mean, I checked the price. Them shits go for 1,500 on Amazon. You you'd think I'm bullshitting, but I'm not. Like, look it up for yourself. When I was 18, I did something really weird on call. Explanation. When I was younger, I whipped out the old bishop on call and started urinating. They since blocked me, understandably. I feel disgusting, and to be honest, I don't know what to do. I think I might just never speak to them again. I feel ashamed to call myself a man. I feel like a weirdo. I feel beyond disgusting. So... Let me get this straight. In the context of this explanation, you were on call and you whipped out your whole Peter Wood William Johnson and started urinating while you were on the phone. You know, thinking about it, it might have been an accident, but at the same time, from the description that he gave about this whole confession or whatever, he made it seem like he did it on purpose. So I, I, I don't know. Some people be weird like this. You know what I mean? Some people just be whipping it out for no reason. And don't ask me how I know that. I've been on Omegle. I stole from Target and now I won't be able to sleep at night. I stole a small $7 item from Target. I was literally going to buy it too. Went to the self checkout, but it didn't have a tag anywhere. So I went to put it back <laughs> in a far corner of the store and put it in my bag. This is a Target five minutes from where I live. I go all the time. I work in the same mall the Target is in. I never stolen anything before and I didn't know what I was thinking. I'm a teenager and I want to go to college. I also want to continue going to Target. I know they have crazy facial recognition software. Can I ever go back? All right, first of all, what was the item? That was $7. I want to know. And why are you treating this as if it's a James Bond or Spy Kids movie where they might hunt you down if they see your face in that target again? I'm thinking about this in a situation as if you're a kid and you stole something small from the bookstore and you have a fear that the school is going to call your mom saying, hey, your child stole something and then you're going to go to jail. That's the fear. I mean, I know it's kind of normal to have this fear of when you're like stealing something or when you accidentally take something right but they over exaggerated with the fact that target has crazy facial recognition software and that i don't know <laughs> all right so for this next one it's just like there's three updates and edits to this post so i am not going to read those i'm just going to read the main part so 
Yeah. I've been living off of McDonald's triple cheeseburger meal for six months. Male age 22. I am so addicted to McDonald's triple cheeseburger plain meal with Dr. Pepper and fries that I eat it for lunch and dinner. I don't usually eat breakfast, only coffee. Sure, I can slip in other food if I'm cooked for or invited to a function. Usually I just eat it because it makes my anxiety go away and makes me feel better. I know all of the workers permanently fucking what? <laughs> I know all of the workers personally and am starting to feel ashamed for going so much. I am 125 pounds and 5 foot 10. I have not been to a doctor in two years, but I guess I always find a way to keep the weight off. Does anyone relate? I feel like people would say that this is disgusting and extremely unhealthy when I perform quite well at work and interpersonally, and my physical well-being feels relatively healthy as far as I can see and feel. To me, McDonald's is really just another meal. All right, first of all, that last part rhymed, so that's a bar. Yeah, that like living off of a triple cheeseburger meal with a Dr. Pepper and fries and not eating breakfast, only drinking coffee, right? There's more to that than just weight and like what, metab like metabolism or something? I'm not a doctor, I don't know these words. <laughs> but yeah, there's more of the health than just like weight and metabolism, right? So if you're living off of McDonald's for six months, specifically with a triple cheeseburger meal and Dr. Pepper and fries, your blood work must be fucking atrocious. Like, good God. Like me personally, I can't fathom myself eating McDonald's for six months straight. Like that's, that's crazy. That's that's uns that's unspoken, that's unheard of. But hey, listen, I'm not a doctor. You live your life, man. It, like, look, if it doesn't affect me, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. In elementary, I used to steal food from my teacher's lunch on their desk and would often take sips of their beverages. I did this a lot, actually. Damn, so teachers really can't have shit nowadays, can they? Like, they can't just calmly sit their lunch on their desk without having to worry about a little gremlin stealing it. Shit, that's crazy. Now, me personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. I just spent 200k on Oakland Athletic season tickets. Four years worth of tickets at a minor league stadium and I'm not even an A's fan, I'm a Mariners fan. Looking forward to baseball, but holy crap do I feel a lot of regret here. Have you contacted your bank yet? Because why, why are you spending $200,000 on athletic season tickets for a team you're not even a fan of? I mean, that's your money, you do what you wanna do, but that's... That's kind of a stupid purchase. That's like going to a concert for a band that you don't even like. I work at a hospital and stole crack from a mentally ill patient. Let that title sink in for a minute. I am a counselor at a mental hospital and work most with patients who have schizophrenia, bipolar, or other illnesses with psychotic features. It is rare, but sometimes I have to transport clients around town. Well, yesterday, I was asked to transport a patient with schizophrenia in for a medication appointment. On the way, he asked if we could stop so he he could grab six. When we stopped and he got out, I noticed a small plastic baggie full of even smaller plastic baggies. Upon slightly closer inspection, it appeared to be a white powder. This weekend, I happened to have a friend coming into town who loves to party. He is always asking for drugs and I have no idea where to get them here in town. So I saw an opportunity to give my friend the goods and figured the patient had enough little baggies. I opened the bag and took one of the smaller little baggies and put it in my pocket. When the client came back out, I told him that he had dropped something and gave him the drugs back. He was super embarrassed and said it was cocaine for a friend. I assured him it was not going to get him in trouble, but asked that he not bring drugs in our company vehicle anymore. After I dropped him back at home later, all I could think about was if I had fucked up his life by stealing what could maybe amount to a good amount of cash from him. What if he owes the dealer for it or is addicted and will now go through withdrawal? Flash forward to my friend just getting into town today i left him a key and put the coke on a table he could find and texted him letting him know i left him a gift he just texted back saying that it is crack not coke and asking where the hell i bought crack at and if i was okay so basically i possibly ruined a mentally ill man's life for no reason other than to impress my friend who is certainly not impressed now all right so first of all i think i had an aneurysm trying to read that whole post hey guys post editor to me here i just wanted to make a quick psa and say that grammar matters and the reason why i'm saying this is because i had to re-watch myself struggle to read that last post and i'm never doing that again because i almost had a stroke and secondly 
To sum this up in the simplest of terms. First, you steal crack from a mentally ill patient. Secondly, you thought it was cocaine. And thirdly, you damn near almost killed your friend by giving him crack. I swear to God, Reddit is unreal. And I am never reading that again. I'm such an idiot, but I take it with a grain of salt. I hooked up with a guy last night and while doing the deed. Oh, doing the deed. <laughs> Sorry, that was. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I hooked up with a guy last night and while doing the deed, he literally whispered, shut the fuck up. I said I can't help it. The next day he texted saying, sorry, I can't continue this anymore. That's my confession of the day. So you're telling me that while the guy was beating your cheeks, he leaned over and he whispered. He didn't whisper sweet nothings, mind you, hold on. He didn't whisper sweet nothings, but he whispered to tell you to shut the fuck up. And then, not only were you a little uppity, were you a little too giddy, the next day he texts you saying, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've heard all week. I pay tall, beautiful women to kick me in the nuts and humiliate me. It's a compulsion I can't seem to break. I love women who are cruel bitches. I know it's not good for me, but I can't stop. <laughs> What the fuck? I can't take, I can't read this and take this seriously. It's a compulsion I can't seem to break. I love women who are cruel bitches. I know it's not good for me, but I can't stop. Just stop. Do you not have any dignity left? Like stop paying tall, beautiful women to kick you in the testicles and humiliate you. Like it, it, it's, it's that simple. I mean, to be honest, for all I know, he could be a masochist and he could have a humiliation kink, but even still, you can stop that if you have the discipline and you have the, you know, resources to stop doing that. Like, come on, man, have some dignity. Got hammered at the airport and missed two flights in the same day. I, 22F, had a flight with Frontier that got delayed and delayed for over five hours. So I decided to get hammered at the airport. I ended up missing my flight, luggage was on the flight, so I bought another flight that left the next hour. I went to another bar, didn't see there was a gate change, and missed that one too. I was sobbing, ended up spending about five $500 that day just to end up going back home. That was embarrassing. I ended up getting refunded and I did find my bag. Should probs quit the booze though? The first step is always admitting when you have a problem and I feel like this is a good way to admit it. So I'm hoping, honestly, like I'm being honest right here. I'm not joking or anything. I wish you the best of luck, honestly, on your journey to quitting alcohol. So, um, that's all I can say, really. And I'm giving you a thumbs up. I'm giving you a thumbs up because you're doing a good job. Admitting you have a problem is a great first step to recovery. If you guys want more Reddit confessions like these, let me know in the comment section. And who knows, maybe I'll make a series out of it, like the Reading Your Comment series. But, um, you know, as per usual, leave a like, subscribe. It's free. It helps out the channel a lot. And you get more great content from me. Anyways. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go ahead and get myself something to eat. I got some baked Z in the fridge, so I'm going to eat that. And I'll catch y'all later in the next video. So, peace!